this is Lindsay. I'm Suzanne Ridgeway and welcome back to my channel. I have an awesome new DIY with Dollar Tree Command hooks for the mops and the brooms. Real great way to use it in a different way. In a moment we're going to get into this DIY but first look for that subscribe button and smash on it. Don't forget to tap on that bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let's do this. <music> I'm at the Dollar Tree and we're going to go in for some items for a DIY that I saw. Let's go in and find out if they have they them. They have them. I'm so excited. This is for the DIY. Can I get a couple of them? They also have the poles that I need and I need four of them. I'm going to take these broom and mop holders and use them in a really unique way for my home. And this was really cool. It really wowed me when I saw it done. So for this project, you're going to need some of the broom handles. These are the same as the Command Hooks. It's the Dollar Tree brand. They work really well. I hung one up on the side of my refrigerator for my brooms and mops. It was wasted space, and I made a broom closet. And we're going to use these in a unique way. We're going to remove all the little zip ties and open it up, and then we're going to cut them in half. The first thing you're going to do is cut the zip ties You get them out of the packages. And they work really well. That is what they look like on the back. I already have one opened. And I'm going to cut them down the middle. Now I have the desired size that I like. The second was a little more tricky to get it cut. They're about the same length. As long as it, they look similar, I'm not going to overly worry about it. And we're going to get them hung up, but I'm going to cut one more so I don't have to do one long rod. The first thing we're going to do is measure so we have the same exact length. Put a groove in it, and I'm going to do the opposite side so it will snap easy. And it should cut right in half, just like that. And you're going to want to do the same thing, even it out. Once they're cut in half, just make sure they're the same exact size and cut the excess off. They're all about the same size, so now we're going to put them above my window. I'm going to have someone help me to make sure that they're level. This was a really good knife, and I do have a sharpening stone from the Dollar Tree that works really well. And it folds down. There's probably a button on it somewhere to fold it down, but it's a folding knife and it says so right on the package. My next Dollar Tree Empties video coming to up towards the end of the week will feature this. Next thing you're going to want to do is if there's any visible stickers, you want to remove them because I don't think the curtains are going to cover them and you don't want them visible. I got all the stickers off. Now we're going to focus on the window. I'm going to probably have to stand up on the couch as best as I can. I'm going to have my kid watch from behind to make sure they're level on all areas of the top of the window pane. And we're going to get these taken care of. I'm going to need two poles for this one window. I'm making another window. That is why I bought extra poles. So my husband, he does a lot around the house, but this I can't stand the way he hung them up quickly instead of reattaching them I know that window is a pain and I've been looking for a solution for years so I'm so excited to have found this DIY from the Dollar Tree to get my curtain rods up and up properly so let's just keep our fingers crossed that it works as well as the brooms and the mops from the Dollar Tree for the mop holder that it will for this idea and as you probably figured out we're hanging curtains today with these random Dollar Tree objects. Be careful how you maneuver the rods to the house because they're quite large you don't want to break anything. And take your curtain I have the rings I can use them in other projects. I'm going to fixate the curtain 
on to the shower curtain rod like that. These are 72 or 74 inches. They're a $10 panel at Walmart. And that is what it looks like on the rod. Now we're going to focus back on the window and get these command hook pieces up and up at a good height level. Can you see me? Yes. Okay. We're going to take this out of the window before we do anything. And then we're going to put up the command hook mop holders. One here, one in the middle, another one in the middle, and one on the end. Clean up the window just a little bit because it's been a while. A little dusty. And I'll do the other side when I get over there. And the first thing I'm going to do, now that the curtains are down, I'll pick that up when I'm done, is get this propped up probably to about there. So I'm going to have to climb a little higher. And you're going to want to hang it right above. other curtain fixtures so it's even. You're going to press on to them for a couple of seconds to make sure they seal the wall. I'm going to be careful climbing here so I don't fall into the curtain. a little more tricky. My kid's going to assist me here. Let me know when I'm even. You're going to hold on to it for a couple of seconds to make sure it's completely applied to the wall. Judge it. Um, can you go all the way down and apply it? It looks fine. Make sure you apply pressure to each one of them. Now I'm going to do one over again. That's why I bought extra. I have that one there. Let's make sure sure I haven't lost it. And I need my pots and some nuts. With a little help, we got them up the way I want them. Now I'm going to get them up on to the new curtain fixtures and see how they look on. Let me get this up. Let me get the stand up here again. I'm getting myself back up to the couch here. I'm glad this couch is so sturdy. They're going to rest on. The mops pieces just like this. Instead of hanging the way my husband had them hang. I'm going to find my iron and storage and get that wrinkles out here. And then I'm just running through the dryer for a couple of minutes. The first one is up. And now it's what it's looked like. DIY curtain hangers. All right, I added an extra panel here. I'm going to do the same on that side. And unfortunately, some of my pictures knocked down. I move things out of the way. I don't know where that fourth shear is, but I think I have one that I can use so we can have them completely covered. And it looks so much nicer. I'm going to climb back up on the couch 
And we're going to take that down again, and I'm going to put an extra panel up. Making sure it's the correct way. I'm going to move my little shelf I made out of the way. I don't want to knock anything down. Carefully take it down. Just be careful with the length of this because it is long. You got the correct side. I hate hanging curtains. That's probably why nobody's really updated a good way that is. User friendly in today's technology world. Slowly lift up. There you go. I don't want to knock the shelf there. Let's see if I can get the And that is what it looks like. There is the broom handles with the mop command hooks up on, and it's nice and level. My kid did a really good job, and it looks nice, and they're hanging nicely. And I'm very pleased with how it looks. It looks so much better in here. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching me all the way to the end. We have giveaways to announce. When we get to 1,200, we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. Must be a U.S. resident. Must be subscribed. If you're new, say hi down below. Let me know that you're new. Also, we're even looking for 18 more subscribers to give away a five item surprise pack from the Dollar Tree. Same rules apply. If you won in the past 60 days, you're not qualified. Wasn't that awesome? Rods that size are expensive using Dollar Tree broom handles, making sure all the stickers are off completely, as well as the command hooks for the mop and broom holders in a different way. Made it easier and no drilling in the walls. Before we go, don't forget to smash on that subscribe button, tap on that bell, and give this video a big thumbs up. When doing these curtain rods, make sure you do them vertical, not horizontal, because as you can see, they attach so much easier and it will stay.